I went outside and found some rocks. I have a variety of supplies out here. I want you to just use what you have, um, which is why I have so many different options. Let's start with the most common supplies that you probably have lying around. So I have markers here, and this is my little test rock here. And I used a marker on this blue part. So um, you can tell that the markers show up quite well. And the markers also would be a really good top layer um, to write your words on it after you've done your decoration. Another supply you could use that I just don't happen to have lying around at home, um, but you probably do, would be crowns. Um, crowns would be really good for a base layer. Um, they're probably not going to be able to get like a sharp line. Um, to get your words on there, but it'd be a really good base layer. I have two different types of paint um, that you might have lying around. One is acrylic. So these are typically like a dollar at the store. Um, there's a good chance that you probably have these lying around. I like to keep a paper plate and a napkin nearby. If you don't have a paper plate, then you could just use a napkin or a Kleenex or toilet paper really just something that will hold that paint. On my test sample, the acrylic is this one right here. Acrylic does cover these really well. I also keep a cup of water nearby, so if you wanna switch colors, remember that you need to take all that paint out of your brush and then dry it off on a paper towel. The other type of paint I have is watercolors. So um, you probably have a little simple one row Watercolors and those work just the same. This is just the watercolors that I happen to have at home. These are the watercolors. So you can see that it kind of soaks into the rock a little bit more, gives a more pastel look. Um, because of the water and the paint, um, it does soak in a little bit more. So I'm gonna use yellow, just like I did with the acrylic. And you can see the color, but you can see it's getting soaked in. One other thing you might want to use is a Sharpie. Um, so on my sample, the Sharpie, I just drew a little heart here. So that shows up really well. If you want to do that on top of your paint, you want to make sure that dries first. So remember, you want to write a positive message on this, and then you want to put your kindness rock back outside for somebody else to find. 